is City News everywhere. A heartwarming story. After a year of isolation, 97-year-old world traveler Albertan Louise Smith is now able to go to the grocery store on her own thanks to her second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Well, these are the types of vaccine stories we're used to hearing from Alberta Health Services through Twitter. Wednesday, it was a darker warning. Someone is trying to spoil vaccine doses by booking multiple appointments and not showing up. The good news, AHS says they haven't noticed an increase in no-show appointments. Their online booking portal prevents multiple bookings, and they've alerted pharmacies and police of this threat. It's um, scientifically unhinged, and it really demonstrates um, how far those who have strong anti-vax views will go. City News has found an account claiming they are the ones who have been trying to waste vaccine doses. We are not sharing their username. However, this account does share a number of conspiracy theories and is connected to extremist movements, which isn't that surprising. Since the beginning of the pandemic, academics have been tracking how far-right extremists are co-opting the anti-mask and anti-vaccine movement. For the Canada Research Chair in Public Health Law and Policy, Policy, who has been fighting misinformation during the pandemic. I get uh, attacked by anti-vaxxers almost daily, right? These are a very mobilized community. Um, they, I've gotten death threats, right? Uh, so I know how far these individuals are willing are willing to go. As for the consequences of a false booking. Slotting it into a particular criminal offense is not easy. I can think of about four, perhaps five. This law professor says it's not that simple, but it could fit the criteria for identity fraud if they're using someone else's name, mischief, public nuisance or fraud. Be defrauding the pharmacy by calling up and giving fake appointments with no intention to actually show. I actually think that would work. The only difficulty with that is it doesn't really get at what concerns us like we're concerned with the public health impact of people who are going out and deliberately deceiving and slowing down the vaccination effort for their own gain we reached out to rcmp calgary and edmonton police cps telling us they have not received any directives on enforcement action today i asked dr hinshaw about a centralized booking system for pharmacies and prevent this type of abuse of the system working very hard to have a centralized booking system in place. I don't have a specific date. To date, Alberta has administered over 2 million doses, with more than 50% of those eligible having gotten their first dose. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.